Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. This morning, my guest is Sam Locker, the Vice President of Business Development with A.J. Rose Carpet and Floors in the Boston area. Sam, how you doing? I'm great, Kim. Thanks for having me. I wanted to catch up with you about business conditions. Before we get to that, though, a little background on A.J. Rose. Second generation company started by John and A.J.'s parents, and they've been running it for a while now. You have three retail stores and a to-the-trade upper-end store. Uh, you do focus on better and goods. You're an NFA member, and you're number 86 on our top 100 list. So very successful business. T- tell us how's business. It's been good. Like anybody, we didn't really know what to expect this year. It was a weird year last year, and the preceding yeah. that was another really strange year. So tough to really draw too many conclusions. So as we entered 2022, we thought as long as we can kind of maintain what we did in 2021, because it was such a banner year, if we could maintain that and that we could try to make ourselves even a little bit more profitable and focus on profitability and not so much on top line sales, that we'd have a good year. And thus far, we're still ahead a little bit of last year and uh, our profitability is, is much better. So it's been successful so far, but who knows what to expect for the second half of the year. <laughs> All right. So let me hear what you just said. You had strong growth last year, as did most people in the business. It might not have been unit growth as much as it was, you know, revenue growth. A lot of price increases last year, so inflation was part of it. And you've held on to that and actually added to it just a bit. Talk about traffic right now. Are you seeing the normal summer slowdown? We are. I think it's kind of back to where people are taking those vacations that they might not have the last couple of years and they were right. investing in their homes. So we have noticed that uh, traffic is down kind of back to how we used to expect it in the summer. So as we return to normal, whatever that is, it, it does seem like it's it's following old trends where the last two years, there was no real trend to follow. So I just wrote an editorial about this very topic. You know, the question is, are we back to normal? Uh, you know, because in the summertime, we, we normally did see a little slowdown. People distracted, out and spending time with family. We hadn't seen that for a couple of years. If you listen to Main Street Media, they're going to tell you that the sky's falling and that we're going to have a recession tomorrow. But that may not necessarily be the truth, right? We're hopeful. I mean, we always plan for the worst and, and hope for the best. So we try to put ourselves in a position to to be successful no matter what the economy does. All right. So you sell better in goods. And you know, I was talking to Santo Tercivia with Market Insights a couple of weeks ago, and he was talking about how he's predicting a bifurcated market where there's still going to be some purchases on the upper end. And that's kind of who your target is, right? Definitely. We have a broad base of customers. So we do anything yeah. from real low end to high end, but our obviously our, our target demo is is the higher end goods and people who really want to invest in uh, high quality products. So that's that's really who we're going after. So we're hopeful that that'll stay strong, that we're in a pretty strong market. The Boston market tends to do pretty well previously throughout, you know, different recession periods. So we hope that trend continues. Last time we talked in depth with AJ Rose, I learned that you were more carpet than normal stores that you sold to, you know, 60% or so more carpet. Is that still the case? It is. Hard surface is eating into it a little by little every year, but we're still north of 50% carpet and we prefer the carpet business. You know, obviously you have to cater to whatever the customers are looking for, but we still see the benefits and the pros of selling carpet. We're going to keep it up as long as we can. (laughs) So let me just ask you, last year, three big issues were out of stocks, continuous price increases, and then obviously this is a labor issue that's been around for a while now. How are you guys doing in those three areas? Labor, we're kind of fortunate that it, it hasn't been a huge issue for us. We have a decent labor pool to call on. We're not totally immune from it. We we do struggle from time to time, but you know, that's not our, our biggest issue like it is for a lot of other dealers across the country. Out of stocks was very difficult to manage for a while, but it does seem things have started to trend back up. Also people's expectations have been reset. So, you know, people aren't expecting to buy it today and get it tomorrow most of the time. And we've used it to our advantage, right? So, you know, it it, it actually helps us manage our our workflows a little better instead of you know that big bump in business and then trying to fulfill all the orders you know we can we can say hey well you know it's only it's six to eight weeks out so you know we can forecast a little bit better and try to spread out the work a little bit more so we try to use it to our advantage but it can be difficult okay and on price increases i mean the consumer's not in the business every day just pass it along don't you i mean you just uh, if 
carpet goes up in what it costs you, you just pass that to the consumer, right? Yeah, that's all you can do. It, it used to feel like we would play games where we would go, man, if it, if LVT ever gets past this this number or wood gets this past this number or you know, whatever gets past certain price range, you, you would think that it, it would price itself out and, and people would would become gun shy and it just it really hasn't again i think it's just the consumer you're right they don't shop it every day but they understand that things change on a constant basis there's some flexibility out there so we kind of sell it on the the quality and branding yeah i mean all you can do is is pass it along all right so you being vice president business development marketing i know one of the things that you guys have done and been kind of out front on is on digital promotion have you done much changing in how you promote yourself to build storecraft no if anything we've leaned in even harder to digital marketing so you know we still do occasional print for for local things that have some value but really the the vast majority of what we're investing is is digitally that's where the customer is you're going to meet them where they are so that's that's been a big focus for us we've also tried to put other things in place to try to make us more successful especially with all the price increases we've switched over to qr code pricing which updates automatically because pricing is is a full-time gig if you keep if you keep retagging it. So it's an automatic. Yeah. As soon as we get a price increase, we can upload it and it's it's live. So that's been a huge help. And it also helps because customers can't shop by price. They can't you know, they can't shop around and, and say, oh, I want to pay X per square foot and look for that number. They have to shop on something yeah. that they like and then they're scanning those uh, and getting pricing after the fact. So things like that have been a huge help for us. Yeah. One last question. I know you focus mostly on the retail side of it, but uh, you do do some commercial work, especially with all the universities around there. What's your balance? Are you about 70, 30 residential to commercial? Uh, you know, I don't know the exact breakdown off the top of my head, but we do do a large amount of commercial. It's definitely seems like it's, it's bounced back. The last year, COVID took a big bite into commercial business. So we had a good bounce back the second half of last year and it's continued into this year and it still looks strong. Like there's a lot of work on the books that should continue for a while to come. So that's encouraging to see because th- those things tend to, once they commit, they tend not to uh, disappear. Yeah. And that's where the strength is right now. Okay, Sam, thanks so much for talking to our listeners. Again, been talking to Sam Locker, the vice president of business development and marketing with AJ Rose Carpets and Floors based in Boston. And you've been listening to Kemp R and floridaily.net.